Oh, oh yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep, he's on there. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. All right, guys. Let's see what we got up here. Got my lights charging. Hybrid light. If you don't have these, get some rechargeable lights. They're on my website. Oh, we got some bait. I thought I was going to pull out some chicken, didn't you? No, no, no. Daddy brought something different. Bringing some different baits today. Doing something a little bit different. We're anchored up. It's late afternoon. It's almost five o'clock. Sun's going to be going down in about two and a half hours. We're going to do a little night fishing. Unless I catch a monster before then. But for now, a little night fishing. We got some big bait. We've got some of these big crappie here. Uh, I got some carcasses left. Uh, Grayson and I caught some the other day. That's in a video that's up on the page. The channel. I kept some of the carcasses. Kept a little meat on them. We're going to put them suckers out. All of them are legal size. So we can use them in North Carolina. But yeah, anchored up. Gonna try a couple of places before it gets dark. Got some good arches on here. We'll see if they're biting. Water's up. We got a little bit of flow through here. We're kind of in a current break. So let's see if we can catch a fish. All right, guys, everything I got today, I brought the Hellcat rods. Uh, nothing but Hellcat rods on the boat today. I'm actually putting some Carolina rigs out. Y'all ain't used to seeing that, but I didn't know what the current was gonna be like. I didn't know how much water they were gonna be moving. We're fishing nothing but big bait. This is a hero or zero kind of day. So I'm gonna take one of these. One of these things, if you guys use crappie, I always hook them through the mouth. Reason being, this mouth will open up. And uh, if you're in any current, kind of a pain in the butt, so. Anyway, we're going to get these chunked out, fan cast out around the boat. Got some heavy weights on here, so this will be a good little test for the castability of these rods. We're going to get them out, fan cast around the boat, see if we can stick one. Yes, guys, using a little bit heavier weight today. Oh, like I said, I don't know how much current we got pulling, but I want to make sure i got plenty of weight to stick them on the bottom. Guys, when you're chunking some of these heavier weights out there to pin stuff down, that is the advantage of having some of these heavier rods. It's chunking weight with a lighter weight rod. You snap the tip off on it if you're not careful. Probably hit maybe three spots tonight. That's the plan. So <clears throat> we'll kind of see how things shake out. Uh, that's my plan, but you know how my plan goes. Sometimes uh, I get uh, distracted and pulled in a different direction. So we'll see. There he goes. There he goes. There it goes. There he goes. He's trying to eat it. It's loaded up. First bite. We've been sitting here about 35 minutes. First time our rod has moved. He didn't kill it. But we're hooked up and this came off some of the deeper water. There you go. Starting to wake up now. Get a net just in case we need it. Position. There we go. Let's see what we got. Is he in this line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll see if I got it undone. Don't know. Maybe in the two lines. Small problem. Small problem. Yeah, he's in that line. Fish got some way. I don't like him being in that line though. Don't like that at all, Jack. Straight up and down. I don't have my sonar on. I can't see how deep he is. We don't have any water moving. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Take that line, baby. Take it back. Take it. If we can get this off of this other rod here. Yeah. Nope. Man, I don't like it being around that other line at all. Up, 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 up. Is that my twist there? Let's see if it goes this way. If I get off this line, I'll have a lot more confidence. Nope the other way doing the rod dance many times did I wrap this thing oh there he is came up to the top might have to net this fish I, I'm going the wrong way with it damn 
right there. I'm gonna get it done. Get it done. Just in case he decides to take off again. There we go. Come on, we in that line. There he is. <clears throat> and he is coming, sucker. Boom, in the net. Got him. <laughs> Got him in the net. Sorry about the silhouette light there behind you guys. Yeah, I'm all kinds of twisted around that other one. Good problem to have. Let's get him in the boat. Oh, it's heavier than I thought he was. Dang. Pull that bug out of his mouth. It's a good looking fish. And this guy's about 28 pounds. We'll take that. It's a heck of a way to start the day. Take that all day long. Good looking fish. Let's get it back alive. Woo! There's a fish right there. I hadn't even got this one put up yet. Yeah, guys, I was just, I uh, hadn't even got that rod out yet. <clears throat> I hadn't even retied it. I think there's a fish on there. I thought I'd seen it move. Boom. Yep, he's there. Hooked up. Hooked up. This one coming out of the shallower side. Boom. This one's on top. I got a feeling this one hit while I was dealing with that other fish. Y'all will probably go back and look at the footage and go, yep, there's the fish. It was on there behind you. <clears throat> but I noticed the line was off to one side. It's okay. Good problem to have. You get this perch right out of the way. I hadn't caught a perch yet in here. There we go. Well, there might be some in here. Two fish in a hurry. Nothing's changed. Water's not moving. The only thing is time. Been here about 45 minutes. Smaller fish here. This one's on the Santee. Last one came on the Carolina rig. This one's liftable. Bang, there's some, there he is. Good looking fish. Bang, pal. Came on a big old piece of cut bait. Piece of perch. Nice. Good looking fish. Getting healthy, moving up here in the river, doing some feeding. Right there, bud. Happy to have them. My life. All right, guys. There you go. It's two in the boat. Pretty quickly, about 45 minutes uh, of fishing here, anchored up in this spot. Got a good one. Uh, a really good fish. Very happy with that one. Hit a big bait. It was on the Carolina rig. Fish laying flat on the bottom. And the other was on a Santee rig. One came out in the middle of the river channel. One came up uh, on the shallow side. So I think it's just a matter of getting some feeding fish and some fish moving around. I didn't get to see if it hit it when I was bringing the other fish in. Maybe it'll be in the video and you can see that rod go over. But it's the one right next to the motor. Happy with that. Uh, planning to stay out after dark. Uh, we've got about an hour and a half till sunset. Probably sit this for... A little while longer. I, I'd, I'd planned to really wait it out, but that's good to get a fish. That gives me some confidence that I'm in a good place and uh, that some of those arches that I marked coming up in here on the sonar may actually be some feeding fish. Uh, it looked like a lot of mid-sized fish, kind of like that second one we caught, and that's fine, uh, but there were a couple of good arches too. So after this, the plan is to move to a place. I've got some big trees that are in here, and uh, there's also a dock or pieces of a dock that was dumped in here by a barge. I know where that's at. I may try that if I can mark some fish around it. For now, I'm going to sit back, watch these rods, see if we can stick one. All right, guys, let's get this one tied up. When I cut, I cut it loose right at the boat just to, I wanted to pull off some of this line just to make sure we didn't have any uh, bad places put in it when it was rubbed up against that other line. Good idea to always do that. Get all that tension on the line and it can uh, end up fraying it. But I got a sinker slide I'm putting on here. And you can add these after the line's tied. That's one of the nice things about them. I'm putting a bead. Reason being, those sinker slides, because of the big opening, will slide down on top of this swivel. And I just got a swivel. These are probably 30, 40, 50 pound swivels. I don't know. I don't really worry about it. I don't put that much weight on them. I'm just using a uh, fisherman's knot, improved clinch knot. 
I like to trim it back. Boom. There I'm tying on this end, the money end. I've got a uh, hooker's terminal tackle, circle hook. And then I'm just using some of these cannonball sinkers on here. I got some of these to try out. I was gonna try doing some bouncing this uh, spring if we get some water. I ain't had the time to do it, but it's a big heavy sinker. So I'll get those out there. Get me another chunk of bait on. See if we can find another pig. All right, guys, decided to pick up right there at dark, make a run down the lake. I'm making it up on a uh, long underwater point. Uh, I'm going to get my rods fan cast out here around the boat and uh, see what we got in here. Uh, not as much current at this end. It's uh, pretty slick. One thing I didn't notice earlier was that moon. Had a pretty bright moon. You might be able to see it over there over my shoulder. So we'll see if that has an effect on the bite. But for now, I'm going to get these uh, big pieces of bait out here and see if we can stick us a monster after dark. All right, guys, I think we got one going on this bait. Let's see if he stayed hooked up. Yep, he's on there. Slow it down here. He hit it, slammed it hard. Don't know where he's going exactly. I'm not sure this fish knows it's even hooked yet. We will see. Just feeling the weight of it now. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. It's a pretty good fish. I heard what sounded like a banjo string ping and looked over. This rod was bowed over. Not sure if we got a blue or a flathead. I'll milk him up a little bit here. He is not ready to come up, but I want to keep him off the bottom. A lot of debris down here on the bottom right where I'm at. There he is. It's a good looking blue. Good. Whoa Jack, turn back this way. There you go. There you go. He was wrapped. <laughs> that rod bow. I thought he was a flathead at first, but he's just a very hormoned up male. He was wrapped up though. Ease him up here. I think he just realized he was hooked. It's a good fish. A real good fish. Let's see if I can get another net shot on him here. Yep, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Man. He's fighting way more than I thought he would. Trying to sneak him up to the top. He does not want to come up. There he is. Come here, sucker. Come here, turn to me, turn to me, turn to me. Boom, got him in the net. Oh, yeah. It's a good fish. It's a real good fish. All right, let's get him in the boat. Get a good look at him. It's a good fish. Real good fish, guys. I'll take that all day long. Right there. It's a good one. Very good looking fish. He got some uh, color to him. It's a good fish. Happy to have that one, guys. Happy to have it. All right, here you go, big boy. All right, guys, there's another good blue. Uh, I've been sitting here probably 15 minutes and uh, that one came off the shallow side of the boat. Big piece of bait, Carolina rig on the bottom. Man, he smoked it. I, like I said, I was looking off in the other direction toward where the moon was at, and I just heard that ping, ping, the line pinging. And I looked over, and the rod was buried. So that's a good one. Uh, like I said, I'm further down the lake from the dam now, so I've got some light current going on. We'll just see what happens. This is uh, two good fish, all I can ask for. Very happy. Good night of fishing. Great night if I don't catch another one. All right, guys, we've got a rod going. 
I did not <laughs> wait to get the fold over on camera. I just uh, snatched the rod up, especially after that last one pulled off. I think it had the back of the bait. I don't know if I'm gonna show that in the video or not. Uh, I had a fish pull off and uh, I think it had the back end of the bait. But this one is hooked up. He's running upstream. I don't know how many lines he's gonna get into. Let me get a uh, net. He is acting like he does not know he's hooked yet. So we will see. We will see. Heavy fish, heavy fish. We like that. There we go. Mold of Luma Sea Light, that's the green light. It's doing pretty good, even in this dingy water. It's got it lit up pretty good. So you can at least see what's going on. That fish just swimming back and forth. It's a decent fish, guys. If you're interested in a Luma Sea Light, something to put underneath your boat, they're on my website. So, oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. The old cat's got a little bend to it tonight. Look at that. This fish is getting close. Ooh, not as close as I thought. There he is, there he is, going back down. He's close, he's close. Let's see if we can get him this time. Oh. Don't know if this is a blue or a flathead. Let's see if I can get him. Another good blue, excellent blue. Man, oh, thank you, Lord. That's a good one. What a night, guys. This is some great fishing. Not for numbers, for the size of the fish, this can't be beat, I'm gonna be honest. Of course, we eliminate a lot of small ones with the big baits we chunk it out. So let's get a look at this sucker. Great fish. Look at that. That big boy in the dark. I'm I'm happy, needless to say. Let's get a picture of him. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a good fish. I'm gonna turn my light off on my hat there. Good fish. We'll take those all day long, won't we folks? Nice healthy blue. Good fight. One last look, guys. Good fish. Let's put it back. Man, what a fish. Man, there's another good fish. Uh, it's not on fire bite-wise, but I think we've eliminated a lot of fish by the size bait that we're using. That's just, uh, that's just the byproduct. And I'm okay with that. Three really good fish. High 20s on all of them. And that's pretty good fishing. Can't find a flathead. I had a live bait out there and uh, nothing on it. And so went and whacked the head off of it and put it back out there as a piece of cut bait. So uh, I've been here, well, I've been sitting here for about an hour and 15 minutes. So gonna give it a little while longer, see if I catch another one. If I don't, man, I'm telling you, had a great, great afternoon and great evening either way. Some really, really good fishing. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.